George Kilpatrick, Inspiration for the Nation, celebrating people we feel good about. Jacqueline Lassan is with the Southside Coalition for Equality and Justice. They are having a series of political forums. Two of them have already happened, but we got two more to tell you about. One October 12th at the Corcoran High School and the other one on October the 19th at um, Henninger High School. And these are Thursday night affairs. All right, so Jackie, thank you for joining me. What is happening on the 12th of October? Who are the, these are candidate forums, by the way. And it's important for you as a community to come out and find out who you will be voting for. I know all the talk right now is that you're hearing on the news is about 2024 and the presidential election. But guess what? The real issues are what's happening in your community. School board, county, ledge, comptroller, you name it. Those are the races that affect and impact you. So Jackie, what's happening on October 12th? Well, hello, George. And so we're excited about it. Once again, local elections have 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 consequences. Right. So third debate forum on October 12th, that's going to be at the Corcoran High School, as you said, in Onondaga County executive seat. So we all know Ryan McMahon is running, but how much do we know about Bill Kenny? And yeah, I, I just had a brain freeze for Bill Kenny. And so it's really, um, he is really exciting. He's been in politics as long, if not longer than uh, executive uh, legislator McMahon. And so it's really important to um, highlight both persons and find out why, why the run. And uh, basically with Ryan McMahon, I guess we'd want to hear what he's done up to now and what his vision is going forward uh, since he's wanting to run again. And so it'll be a question and answer period. We're hoping that the audience will lean into that and um, that the moderator will keep them on track as far as what your question is and getting to the meat of the answer. Absolutely. And so people are encouraged to get there. What time will the debate happen or the debate conversation? Is it a true debate or is it just a moderated position conversation? It is, well, we like to say it's a true debate, even though it says, um, even though, sorry about that, even though it says uh, for, uh, a political forum, it's important to know that it is slash debate because, you know, there'll be some question that probably one or both of the candidates will be passionate about, and we want to give them a chance to uh, not only lean in on the subject, but also to to challenge each other because they may not have the same views on those matters. Sure. And so uh, what's the time of the event, by the way? So the time of the event is 530. We strongly encourage get there about five because we do have refreshments. And oftentimes people, um, you know, you can take it back to your seat so that you can kind of not have to get back and forth and start walking around and, and, and lose the very flavor of what's going on. So um, we like that to happen. And then you can choose your seat because, you know, in high schools, the seats are a lot more. It's an auditorium. So you can get a chance to figure out where you want to sit. Hopefully everywhere in there you can hear clearly. Um, but in case you want to have a question, because we strongly encourage that, you don't have to walk all the way down from your seat. You're close enough to get up and talk right into the mic. All right. And so that's the county executive race. Again, that's October the 12th, Thursday. October the 12th from 5.30 to what, about 8.30? And that'll 5.30, be, right. Yep. To about 30. 7. And to then 7. Can, yeah, to 7. All right, 5.30 to so 7. So you can kind of wander around, but we prefer you to get out so that the, you know, get up, question, get your, they'll probably bring some kind of pamphlets with them. So that comes right after they finish. And um, then on the 19th, what's the race that we're talking about? And so on the 19th, that'll be Henniger High School, and that race is the Onondaga County District Attorney seat, where we have the um, current district attorney running again, and we have defense attorney um, Keller, as well as Vargas. Miss Vargas is also an attorney, and she's um, running, and that's from the one is independent. Well, Keller will be independent slash Democrat, and um, and then, of course, the current DA and, of course, Vargas will be on conservative line. All right, on the conservative line, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, County um, DA Bill Fitzpatrick is a 
Republican. So same thing, same They're format, um, where you will have a chance to um, ask. You don't. There's no registration necessary, and you'll have a chance to ask the candidates, or you ask you'll ask the candidates questions along with the moderator, uh, and that'll be two opportunities uh, for you to get your voices heard. Again, that's the South Side Coalition Citizens for Justice and Equality. And 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 is that also part of the South Side Neighborhood Association or is it a separate entity? Uh it's a separate entity, but we work we're all pretty much the same people and with the with the exception of two or three. And so um because some are just politically based persons that just wanted to be on the political end, which is what the South Side Coalition is about. And the Neighborhood Association is more about the education and information of why you're voting, who who should you um pay attention to depending on what your interests are. And of course, we always want people to register. Uh, we don't want to continue to have these low turnout numbers uh, because voting, as I said, and, and um, these elections have a lot of consequences. A lot of people coming into this community and we want to have our voices heard. And of course, people who represent us, truly represent us. Sure. All right. Jacqueline Lassan inviting you to participate in two Debates. The first debate will be for the office of the county executive of Onondaga County. That'll be October the 12th at the um, Corcoran High School. And then, uh, which is on Glenwood Avenue in Syracuse, by the way. Don't want to assume that people know exactly where the high school is. Um, and then, of course, the Henniger High School, which is located 600 Robinson Street in Syracuse. Actually, the largest high school uh, in the city. Um, in terms of uh, population. But anyway, uh, that'll be on October the 19th. That is the Office of District Attorney for Onondaga County. So you have two opportunities to to be involved. And I believe the Corcoran address is like 900 Glenwood Avenue, something like that. Uh, uh, you, in, uh, 919, right. 919 Glenwood, Glenwood, Glenwood. Avenue. See, I'm yeah. trying, because, yeah, uh, I, 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 I keep, you know, you know, know my way around the, the block. Dome, that's right. And it's also <laughs> important to remind Listen, people that- I used to live across the street from Henniger High School, literally. Oh. So I did. I used to live right did. across the street. Yeah, and, I did. Then, and then you moved on up, Mr. George. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but so I love, let me tell you something. I used to love, yep. because I literally- would roll out of my backyard, my um um where my apartment, and the the Chenega High School track was right there. And so, oh. by the way, when I trained to be uh, for the New York City Marathon, um, that was the track that I used to train, um, where I did my er, here we go my early mornings, my rainy nights, training That's so that when it came time to run that marathon which I did in five hours, two minutes and 18 seconds. I finished what ahead that? of uh, 4,000 runners. Uh, and so I was very excited to to do that. And that was a that was a, a bucket list moment that I was uh, able to accomplish. But I'm saying all of that to say, that's why I know the address of Henniger High School. That's because amazing. I used to live right across the street. Yeah, yeah. but that's still an amazing time. And it, it also reminds people that you know, it's about indomitable spirit. We can and we will, you know, not that we we haven't risen already, but politics is a dismal and it's so unbelievable now. And the press basically gives us all our news, which is really not fair if you can come out and you can get to talk to these politicians, let them know you really do matter and, and they'll see you again. You know, we, we they learn us and they know our faces now, but that's just not enough. We just have to come and find out really where they, where can we put this valuable vote that we have? Yeah. Let me it tell doesn't you something. always have to be the same people. No, you don't take yeah. for granted that people are registered to vote. The other day I met a gentleman who was over 18 and was not registered. And I was shocked. As a matter of fact, after I get off this phone, I'm going to call somebody to make sure that this brother uh, gets registered. But it was shocking to me that that someone who was over 18 was not registered. Now, maybe it's not shocking to you, but I'm talking about somebody who is about doing the civic work. And I'm like, how is it you yeah. not registered? Like, what the, you know what I mean? And so, but um, I'm not going to shame him. I'm just going to say <laughs> that 
we if you're 18, you should register to vote because these votes are very critical right now. Let me put it to you this way. Maybe this will wake your behind up. So I said it wasn't about the 2024 election, but let me put right. it into context. Right now, that man who is four times indicted, who tried, who 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 basically started a riot and in the insurrection based on a bold faced lie, is the leading candidate for the Republican nomination at this point. There's right. no primary that's been held. There's no but there's no election that's been held. But at this point, and not only is the leading candidate the closest person is what, 40, 50 points behind? And so what does that say to you, a person who is the leader of a movement to strip black history out of the schools, to deny that people of, of gender, sex, uh, people, LGBTQ people, people uh, you can't even, some places can't even say it, and they're re-engineering some of our public education because they don't want to offend uh, people. So here's what I'm trying to tell you. If that's not enough, then I don't know what is. In right. terms of, I, you know, we talk about being woke. Well, we better wake the, wake. <laughs> Listen, um, I, this show is going to be on the radio, so I can't say what I need to say. <laughs> but if it wasn't on the radio, with all due respect, Pastor Turner, I would say what I need to say. You need to wake the bleep up because, um, the work, the work is undone. And, and, and in 2023, yeah. where we have to plea for people to not only be registered, but to actually vote is sad because we're at a time now where that lack of participation has led to a whole, that lack of participation put that, that man number 45 in the White House in the first place because y'all sat back and didn't want to do it. But forget about that for a minute. We talking about what's happening right here in Onondaga County on October 12th, what's happening with uh, with the with the district attorney's office on October 19th. You need to be there. So Jackie, I can't stress it enough. Now I know this is the Southside Coalition that's putting this together for equality and justice, but it's really for all of us. As but the community. citywide, yes. Well, so no, it's county. Well, this is countywide. So this countywide, is countywide, yeah. This, even yeah. though they're at, you know, it's the Southside group putting together, this is for all of us. So, oh, yes. Having said all of that, Jackie Lassan, thank you for coming on again October 12th at Corcoran High School, 919 Glenwood Avenue in Syracuse. And on October the 19th, we'll have Henninger High School, 600 Robinson Street in Syracuse. Central goes to all these places. So, you yeah. know, check out your bus schedule if you need to take the bus, you know. Whatever you got to do, get there and be there. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. We hope to see you there too, George. It's always wonderful to see you in person. And um, we got work to do. We got work sure. to do. Inspiration for the nation.